How do you fix your input levels that are just a little too loud when you're recording directly into DaVinci Resolve? That's what we're talking about today, and it's not as hard as you might think. Now, let's say you've got your microphone set up, you got your settings dialed in, or in my case, I was recording 32 channels of multi-track audio from the Behringer X32 directly into DaVinci Resolve, and I had all my gain levels set good on the soundboard, but once I recorded it into DaVinci Resolve, they came in a little too loud. Now, I didn't want to adjust it on the microphone itself or on the soundboard itself in my case. So how can we adjust our audio input levels when we're recording into DaVinci Resolve? Let's jump into Resolve and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's pretty quick and easy, check it out. So take a look at this little section in my audio recording here, this particular track, the vocal one, we're gonna see that we're peaking a little bit, right? So my levels were a little too hot coming into DaVinci Resolve as I was recording. So here's what it sounds like. Check out our meters down here. You're gonna see it's peaking. We get a little bit of the red happening there, indicating that the track is peaking. Cause you got a lion inside of those lungs. So you see that we're peaking there. It's a little too loud, too hot coming into Resolve. Now I can adjust it right here in Resolve as far as the levels coming into Resolve. In order to do that, I would go to my input settings. So when I had the board patched in, I could come to my input settings here, go to my path settings, and right in here, I can adjust my record level. So if I would have turned this down a little bit, that would have helped solve the problem of recording levels that are too high or too loud directly into DaVinci Resolve without affecting the settings on your microphone in your case, or for me, in my case, the settings on the board itself. So you can dial these record levels to wherever you want them to be, and you're gonna be able to get a good signal, make sure you're not peaking for any of the files that you're recording here into DaVinci Resolve. So as with all audio work, it's important to have a great piece of audio right from the start, at least the best that you can. And in this case, I should have made an adjustment there to make sure my levels were not peaking and were set properly in DaVinci Resolve on the recording. So if you need to fine tune your adjustments when you're recording into Resolve, try out these path settings. They're gonna do a good job for you and really help you nail down that input level that you're trying to get for your recording. That wraps up this one, guys, for our video on making sure your levels are good when you're multi-track recording here into DaVinci Resolve. More videos to come, guys. Jumping in that Fairlight console, checking that out. We are going to be mixing our own music and music production here. Doing all kinds of cool stuff in Resolve with Fairlight because Fairlight's awesome. We love Blackmagic design. Yeah, with that said, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.